Hello, today we're going to talk about the free to air channels that you can get on KU Band Satellite with a smaller dish like this one. Channels that you can get are NBC, Cozy TV, PBS, News Feeds, Russia Today, Infowars, Press TV, TBN, Smile of a Child, Positive TV, NHK, International Channels, TV from around the world on Satellite TV. And for more information on how to set up a motorized uh, satellite dish, check out the video in the description or the icon above the screen on how to do that. For the programming that is on KU band satellite, which should be on a dish like this, if you're already getting the hobby of uh, free to air, there's uh, typically there's not a huge amount of programming, but there is. Um, some news feeds, there's always like uh, news truck feeds, like someone holding a microphone, looking at their cell phone and uh, talking, about, you know, get ready to do a live newscast. There's a lot of that and then they'll cut to some B-roll footage. Uh, you'll see that, you'll see lots of that. You'll see um, sports feeds. So for college sports, you'll see a lot of that on the weekends uh, on different satellites, 87 West, 91 West um, and satellites like that. So when I talk about satellites, uh, when, I, when I talk about 87 West, or 91 West or 97 West, that's just where the dish is pointed. So for example, this dish here currently is pointed at 103 West, which has uh, a couple news channels and uh, NBC and Cozy TV. So there's not a huge amount. It's not it's not gonna replace, like if you have cable, uh, you're not gonna get all the cable channels on it. You're gonna get um, a lot of the free channels, free broadcast channels and, and channels that might not be on the antenna TV, but are on, on the satellite. Uh, and then there's lots of what people refer to as the uh, foreign and religious channels. So there's lots of Christian channels on satellite. There's a Christian movie channel. Well, it shows not just Christian movies. It shows like more like family friendly movies on positive TV. There's a uh, children's television channels uh, there's smile of a child which is on galaxy 19 and on pbs a couple 87 west and 125 west has pbs kids with all their pbs so there's not a huge amount of channels on satellite on on ku ben with the smaller dishes but there is uh, some if you're in an area and you just want to get what a little bit of free tv uh, you want the linear TV, you want to just put the TV on and have something on in the background. Please check out freesatellitetv.net and also check out the new shop where you can order free satellite TV, LMBs, receivers, and dishes. All sorts of things for your free-to-air needs over at the freesatellitetv.net shop. You can use a slimline dish. You can use an old Shaw Direct dish and you can use an Orbi TV dish if you want to repurpose one of those dishes for linear KU band. Now on KU band satellite, there is not as many channels as there used to be. There's uh, definitely been a dwindled, uh, dwindling over the last few years for North America compared to Europe where they have hundreds of <laughs> English channels and basically that's like the uh, people watch free to air satellite just like how people would watch over the air TV. So here in North America, we have over-the-air TV, but I guess in some, in, in some areas, you can't get all of the DigiNets and all the channels. Now, uh, first off, I'll explain to you what KU band is and what C band is. So I have this KU band dish here. Now this is a smaller dish, and a lot of people, when they get into the free-to-air hobby, this is the type of dish they'd like, uh, they'd want to start with. This is, this is this dish I started with, is a KU band dish with a motor on it. The motor will move the dish to different satellites to get uh, different TV programs and, and, and stuff like that. So the one thing about this hobby is it's a really, it's a do-it-yourself type hobby. You don't really go to a store and get one. You need to buy the, if you're gonna buy a dish brand new or, or secondhand, you can get them on eBay. I recommend eBay because eBay will allow people who are selling stuff in their homes and running a home business, allows them to make money. So I'll have a link to some eBay affiliates in the description of this video if you want to uh, get into that or go to freesatellitetv.net and there's a shop there and I'll have some links to some eBay sellers that can get you pointed in the right direction if you want to get into free to air. So yeah, there's 
So you can get this stuff on eBay. This is a KU band satellite dish. It is a 36 inch dish. It's a little bit bigger than say if you had Dish Network or uh, Direct TV, just because the signal, you need a little bit of a larger dish to be able to get the linear KU band signal off of the dish. Now compare that to a dish like this one, which is an eight foot C-band satellite dish. Now C-band, contrary to popular belief, is C-band is still around. There's still channels on C-band. Everything is mostly digital now. So when it comes to North America, there tends to be a lot more programs and channels on C-band than there is on this smaller dish, KU-band, making it a little bit harder for people to get the free TV that they would want. And the reason why C-band uh, tends to be popular with broadcasters for uh, running their uh, their network feeds is there's it's not as susceptible to weather and rain fade as KU-band is. KU-band, if you've had Dish Network or DirecTV or Bell Express View, you may have noticed when you get bad weather, you might lose your signal at times. Where C-band, uh, really, if it's really windy and it's the wind's blowing, knocking the dish around and bending the dish with really strong wind, you might see your signal drop on, on a, on a consumer C-band dish. I'm pretty sure the uh, the commercial C-band dishes are built really strong and they don't have that as bad. It'd have to be really heavy winds or hurricane winds to cause interference. So another thing with C-band is you can put C get a C-band LMB for a smaller dish. I've done it on a video on this uh, this four foot dish I have here in the background. But with C-band, the dish the way that it works is the bigger the dish, the better. So for example, even my eight footer, it doesn't get as. Uh, it's not necessarily as good as a 10 footer. So there's a few transponders, a few channels that I can't get because I don't have a 10 footer. And what's happened recently with uh, C-band is the FCC has uh, sold off some of the C-band spectrum. So C-band will still be around for years. It's just, they've sold off some of the spectrum to the 5G uh, areas. So they're saying if you're in a big city with 5G towers everywhere, uh, you might have some problems. But if you live way out in the country and you have a C-band dish and there's not 5G towers mile, several, you know, miles and miles away from you, you'll probably be fine. And there's also filters you can get for your LMBs. You might have to get a bigger dish in the future. We'll see how that uh, ends up. They haven't really rolled out 5G, so it's hard to say at this point. So there is a few satellites east of 87 west that might have a few ku band channels that you might be able to lock into depending on your location and you can look those up on links at but i'm going to focus on ses2 which is at 87 degrees west and uh, there is uh, some uh, c band transponders now when you're looking at linksat.com's web page here you'll see that at the top of the list is always the c band channels so the c band channels will have a four digits four digits on the left column here and it'll say that either the horizontal or the vertical polarity same thing with ku band but we're going to go down to ku band focus on that for today over on ku band on 87 west there is the patient channel and if you're trying to lock that channel in it would be the frequency for the input frequency would be uh, 11800 and then you'd type in the symbol rate which in this case is 2686 and on some receivers, you don't need to enter the 7.8 uh, and all that, or whether it's DVB S2. It depends on the receiver that you're using. If you're using an Edison, you'll have to enter in all this. If you're using an Amico, you just have to enter the, the frequency and symbol rate, and it will lock the rest on, and, and the polarity, horizontal or vertical. So there's the patient channel. Uh, one thing that would interest people for 87 West would be PBS or LPB out of Louisiana. And there's three channels there. PBS Kids, there's LPB3, which I believe is the PBS Create channel, and there's the main PBS channel. And there is, because it's in Louisiana, there is at times French programming on there. There's not a whole lot of French channels on KU band satellite. Now this channel here, EBO, I can't really lock that transponder. So uh, there's also the Florida channel and there's a uh, lottery channel where they have like it's bars all the time, but then when they draw the lottery numbers, it shows that. Now it's not really highlighted here, but there's also the CNN news source channels. So there's about eight of them that I think that are in the clear and what they are is news feeds of what's going on that feed for CNN. 
So it's not actual CNN's programming, but it's their backhauls for when they do interviews via satellite. Um, sometimes they'll have a shot of the White House or the Capitol building in the background. And then if the president speaks or they go to a press conference from the president of the United States, it cuts to that. So that's basically what you'll see there if you want to fall, if you're into following politics. Um, there is no C-SPAN on KU band that's available at this time, but if you're looking to follow what's going on in American politics, that's probably one of the good places to just get the raw and encrypted feed. Also, I've done a video on 87 West where you can get uh, the Ring of Honor wrestling feed. So that's uh, 87 West. There's a few channels there to watch. I, I think PBS and the News Source are good channels to uh, to be able to have and Ring of Honor. So. This is actually one of my uh, one satellite I do enjoy watching. Another one is Galaxy 28 at 89 West. Let's scroll past the C-band channels. And if you're interested in C-band, I've done a full video where I covered all the channels, but I'm just trying to focus on just on KU band today. So there's the LDS Church. Sometimes they'll show the BYU channel. And other times, I, I'm not sure if this uh, link set's up to date with this. This is uh, from a few years ago, so it could be out of date. Another thing too is with link set, um, Sometimes it's out of date, so check out this other website called tvrosat.com, and they have a lot of um, of their charts up to date. Now, over at 91 West, which is Galaxy Six, Galaxy 17, and Nimic 6. This is uh, used by Bellx um, Bell TV, it used to be known as Bell Express View. Ku Man, there's uh, several channels for that. Uh, but there is some free-to-air channels here as well. So these are the C-band channels. Again, there's lots of C-band channels on this. Lots of them are encrypted. So when you see stuff like this where it says like PowerView or DigiCypher, that means it's encrypted and you'll need uh, to have like proprietary equipment from a provider to be able to view those. Uh, there is some radio channels. So when you see radio channels, it will be in a slightly smaller font here on Linksat. So you have like WN... RN, which and Utah Public Radio, it's kind of, I think it's kind of like NPR type stuff that uh, you can tune in and listen to on your receiver. All receivers pretty much have like a, a TV radio button, and if you hit the radio button, you can access all of the radio channels when you're engaged into a satellite. Another thing I want to point out with these charts is there's several feeds. Now, I don't even bother entering in each of these transponders. I just sort of lock in the channels that are on there 24-7 and I do a blind scan. And if there's any of these feeds that open up, you'll be able to tune them if they're in the clear. And you'll get to see like news uh, reporters uh, doing a live newscast, helicopter footage, stuff like that. There's a lot of that on the satellite, Galaxy 17 at 91 West. Same thing with 87 West. 99 West, uh, 125 West has lots of news feeds that you can tune in. As of the recording of this video, there is CBS Bloomington and Fox Danville. Now they come and go. So I'd, I'd like it if they stayed. I've, I've talked to some people said that it's, it's on all the time. It could just be maybe the transponder is a little bit weak. But for those that might want CBS or Fox, it's there, but it comes and goes. Bear that in mind. There should be like all the main networks. I wish they had basically all of them on one satellite. So really on this satellite, there's only two channels to lock onto at this time. There used to be a, a news, uh, a 24 seven uh, news feed that you can always lock on, which is good to have just for setting up a satellite dish. So you can find things on your arc, especially if you're doing a geo. So over on 95 West, which is Galaxy 3C, Spaceway 3, or an Intel Sat 30 slash 31. It's going to scan, scan past the C-band channels. So there's CCTV. Also, it's uh, GCTV. Five different channels. A documentary channel, a Chinese news channel, and an English uh, news channel from China and that's pretty much the only channel there on KU band but if you're trying to tune a KU band dish this is a very powerful transponder and I think you can even pick it up with a, one of the smaller dishes with my 36 inch dish I get really good signal quality with that and I find it's easy to lock onto this transponder the most commonly used satellite in North America would be Galaxy 19 at 97 West there is quite a few um, DigiNets and free channels on C band but with a lot of people uh, just wanting to look at what's on on KU band. Now the channels on KU band have dwindled quite a bit over the years. I think because streaming is so much more cost uh, effective uh, to reaching people. There still is channels up here. We might see more, we'll see. 
with um, the C-band spectrum shrinking. What you'll see here is a lot of international news channels and religious channels. You'll see a lot of that on Galaxy 19. Like all these channels are probably from Europe, Asia, places in uh, all over the world. Um, but it's kind of cool. To, like that's what I one of the things I like about free to air is that it has all of these uh, um, around the world channels. And there's channels here that are. Um, Kind of lowercase these are like patriot and christian radio broadcast networks but they have radio networks they distribute programs uh to smaller radio stations across the across the country so that's kind of the old way of doing um radio broadcasting they're still doing that uh, even though all these places a lot of these channels here can be streamed as well so you can actually go to uh one of these and open it up and find a way of streaming the channel. So, like, I don't know, Daystar is a religious channel, but you go to daystar.com and you'll see the channel. And it, usually, a lot of these channels, because they want you to see their content, they'll have a live stream right up on their website. So, just basically by going to their their um, their main page there, you'll see uh, a live stream of the of the programming. There's Joyce Meyer. Over on 12028 Horizontal. One thing I want to mention here, because as you can see here on Linksat, there's been an update, and this update means that there's, uh, it's not necessarily new channels, but they're they're in high definition now. So they've um, converted, a lot of these channels on, on Galaxy 19 are basically broadcasting the same way they've been almost 20 years now. But some of the channels have gone high definition and they use MPEG-4 where some of them are still using MPEG-2, uh, which is like a very old uh, video codec. Even if they were still standard definition and use MPEG-4, they'd be able to make the qual quality using the same amount of bit rate look better. And that's what Orbi TV does. I think they use 1.5 megabits per second with Hevic for each one of their channels. So there's KTV, which in the past I used to see uh, English program with subtitles. Like it was in English uh, with uh, Aramaic subtitles. And there's KTV Sport. I haven't seen wrestling on KTV Sport. Their website's not very helpful to know what's on, what their programming is. Um, but I remember seeing uh, Impact Wrestling and some WWE stuff on KTV Sport in years past. There's iFilm English TV, which is a foreign language film channel. There's Press TV out of Iran. And that channel, Press TV, tends to come and go on Galaxy 19 a lot. My years of watching uh, Galaxy 19, I've seen that one come and go. I wish the same people at work with this you used to have the ebru channel you can still stream it but they did they drop their feed on satellite for religious broadcasting uh, a lot of people do actually inquire about this for the tbn type of programming over on 12053 um vertical there's tbn hills on smile of a child or now they just call it smile tv uh, positive tv which is a movie channel that shows family friendly faith-based and family friendly entertainment they actually have some, uh, I've, I've been seeing a lot of like big Hollywood movies on there as well. It wasn't just like, you know, independent uh, Christian movies. It's There have been some, all sorts of different movies on there. So definitely a channel to check out. There is commercials on Positive TV. And I've done a full video talking about that channel. These two are probably the two channels I like on Galaxy 19 is Smile of Child and Positive TV, which have been there for years. And they have a few radio channels um, and a few foreign channels on that transponder as well. Uh, another one is over here is SBM Domestic. SBN is Sun Life Broadcast Network. It's uh, Jimmy Swaggard's uh, family's uh, channel. Uh, they're they're on a few different satellites, so it's not just on Galaxy 19, but there are, they'll be on other satellites that I'll look at. QVC, the shopping channel, Jewelry TV. So there is always a couple of shopping channels and other foreign channels. CTN, which is another uh, faith-based Christian channel. I believe they do sometimes have movies on there as well. And a few radio stations. Sputnik International, which is essentially, it's like Russia Today, RT, on radio. And they have like the same programs, a radio version of a lot of the Russia Today programs. So another ch thing here is uh, Knapsack for Hope. And this is actually not a channel, although when you skip by, you might see a, a title screen for Knapsack for Hope. And what that is, if you check out their website, do a Google search on them, what you can do is record 
using a USB drive this channel and use software from their website to open up library files, um, di different files that uh, are being sent on the uh, on the internet. And so, so what this is kind of is a service. It's not internet, but it's a way of sending data uh, to remote areas that don't have internet. So it's not two-way because your satellite dish is not going to transmit anything. It's just a receiver. The university network, which was Pastor Melissa Scott and Pastor Dean Scott, they've been on satellite for uh, quite a few years. From what I understand, the video feed is off, but the radio feed is still on. America Voice Radio Network, there's another radio network. And what they use Galaxy 19 for is to be able to uh, send their radio programs to different ra radio stations and micro FMs and stuff like that. TFC, which is a lot more foreign language stuff. This is actually not been updated so this could be wrong for what i'm looking at on link set and some more foreign and religious programming and a bunch of um, radio channels on there over here on 12 152 horizontal there's rt america which is russia today america uh, i think they have studios in the states where they produce their programming and rt is actually russia today is on different for the most part they're on different c-band satellites but they're also they were on ku band on a different satellite but i think this is at the of the recording of this video i believe they're the only on uh, galaxy 19 for ku band and they are standard definition but on c band they're high definition but as i say galaxy 19 it's really dwindled for programming over the last few years because streaming has just become so much more cheaper compared to this where some of these channels have to pay like 10 to 15,000 a month for a channel on, on on there depending on how much sometimes 5,000 a month $800 for a radio channel apparently to 99 west and I'll skip past all the c-band channels here so you can see there's a few of them here so when you go to 99 west which is galaxy 16 uh, the one transponder I always recommend trying to get first or trying to lock onto the satellite is this 11800 horizontal transponder. Its uh, symbol rate is about 3000. It just tends to be the more stronger of all the transponders on the satellite. And so there's this Russian media group where all these channels are encrypted with this Indrado uh, encryption. And there is one channel in the Claire uh, uh, Jewish Broadcasting Service or JBS. There's one channel here, JBS. It's a Jewish broadcasting channel channel and all the rest will just show up as encrypted but there is several feeds on the satellite around four five six o'clock in the evening you'll usually eastern time if you do a scan you'll see a bunch of news trucks getting ready to do news broadcasts and you can see that there's a Hughesnet net uplink here and all that and also there's a news channel uh, called Infowars on 12.095 here and uh, it is in about 720p it's, this is wrong here it's actually a 720p channel and a lot of people are interested in that program or th that programming it is a 24 7 news channel they pretty much do uh radio shows but they have like their video feed of their radio shows as they do a simulcast for radio and tv and they are on they're broadcasting 24 7 but the original run programming is pretty much from nine till about seven o'clock during the daytime there's about three um three different uh long radio shows on there or tv sh uh, news programs and then they loop it but then they also do specials on weekends and during special events so over at 101 west there's not a whole lot on ku band on this satellite anymore but i just wanted to point out just so you can aim your dish there's, there's a few radio channels one is the k love radio network uh, where you can scan these in and get uh, a few different of the k love radio channels on ses3 at 103 west this is actually another satellite that we might even start to see more channels come on this satellite it has several c-band channels that are free and in the clear but for ku band with a smaller dish you can get mbc and cozy so you get mbc i think about four different a mountain west east and central version of mbc now the interesting thing with mbc is when it goes to commercial on this uh, satellite feed it will just go to a black screen so what if you scan this in you just see a black screen if you wait a minute it just goes to dark while it's in commercial i believe cozy tv will have like your um it, it'll show the, like the the whole network you'll see the flex seal guy and the my pillow guy and all that stuff if you watch the commercials on cozy so uh, dw english brought back to ku band which is a channel out of germany they've been on satellite for years they have an a, a 
they have I believe they have multiple different languages, Dutch and, and English and all you know, different ang languages. I believe they're in Germany. And uh, it's an international programming. It's kind of interesting seeing what's going on in Europe. They cover all the, uh, they give you a perspective of, of life in Europe that you don't necessarily get on most TV. PBS actually does their newscasts. Uh, if you watch get PBS World, you sometimes you see the DW newscast in the afternoon. Transponder, which is 12, 145 vertical. This is a, um, a transponder that has several channels. I think there's about six different channels on this, one of which has NHK World, SBN Domestic, which was the channel we were just looking over at uh, on Galaxy 19, and it's here as well. Uh, the Jimmy Swagger channel. There's a GCTV, which is the English version of the Chinese uh, state news channel. That It's actually uh, over on 95 West, but it's also here. So sometimes you run into repeats. Okay, for 103 West, I just wanted to look at TVRO set because they have a better... They've uh, listed this a lot better than what Linksat has, and sometimes they do that. So I kind of switch between TVRO set and Linksat for their uh, for their charts. There's a lot of channels over on 101 West. Oh, these are all the encrypted channels. So see on this transponder, the, if you go to TVRO set and go to their charts, you'll probably see a better, more up-to-date. So when you scan in and you get a bunch of channels, you'll get on-demand movies. NHK World, SBN, ALL on, GCTV, Cold Fusion, or something else. I don't know what. Anyway, it's documentaries and FedEx, and this FedEx stuff is encrypted here. Please check out freesatellitetv.net, and also check out the new shop where you can order free satellite TV, LMBs, receivers, and dishes, all sorts of things for your free-to-air needs over at the freesatellitetv.net shop. Okay, over at UTELSAT 113, I don't know how to say this, 113 West is, uh, now on C-Band, it's uh, several Spanish channels. It's kind of beamed for South America. But there is a few channels you can pick up in North America. I believe you can get BT BVN. Uh, Reuters, I'm not sure if it's a channel or if it's just like a feed that they have up there for Reuters. I didn't realize until researching for this video that Reuters is a news organization in Europe that's been around for over a hundred over a hundred years but they also have uh, programming here the apostolic oneness channel so another religious channel you might not want to go to the satellite but it the reason why i point this out is if you're setting up a motor you just might want to scan them in to make sure you're getting all the channels on your arc okay so over at utelsat 115 west which is actually 114.9 west so if you're entering u cells on your satellite dish that will be a an important key to getting your dish to move there so there's some cbc feeds here i believe these cbc feeds are um 422 uh, at least when i tuned them in before so there is a way of viewing them when i use my edison mayo i stream it to vlc and my computer and then i can see the video you'll hear the audio but you might not see the video so that's a way of getting around that if you have a if you have an Enigma satellite receiver. ICI Radio Canada Tell Montreal, whatever that is. Anyway, it's uh, CBC Montreal TV. I've talked about this on my channel many a times before that um, CBC being a taxpayer in Canada, yet I live in an area where I can't get CBC for free over the air or even on satellite with the feeds here. They should have just like CBC Ottawa and Toronto even and Vancouver, really. The taxpayers pay for it. Now, I know someone's going to say in the comments, it's going to tell me the CBC is the Canadian or the CBC is the communist broadcast channel. I'm not here to get political or anything. I'm just here to say what where the channels are. Some of these channels, I'm not even sure if they're spot beamed for North, uh, the higher part of North America. I believe this is a, is a subscription service in Mexico. One thing I do want to point out is this is where Orbi TV is. 117 west point zero west now orby tv is a subscription service they have uh two transponders that are fitting a whole whack of channels on there because they're using the new Hevic codec but there is byu tv and a few other channels here so if you lock onto it you can watch these channels so that's kind of a nice thing it would be kind of it would be good if orby tv had more of the free to air channels that you can actually watch with Orbi TV, just for the Orbi TV customers, and also for broadcasters. If Say if I wanted to put my channel on satellite, I could put it on 117 West, and 
not necessarily charge a fee for Orbi TV, but just be able to be on their lineup for channels. These are encrypted on for Orbi TV, but they have a whole whack of channels on each transponder. And if you do do a scan of the satellite and you don't block all of the encrypted channels, these channels will scan in. Maybe you'll be lucky and they'll have an, un an unencrypted for a free weekend or something, but that's all what on uh, Orbi TV. I think they use 1.5 megabits per second per each channel. So some people have said that it's not true HD for a lot of these channels, but it is a cost reduction service. That's good compared to Dish Network and other services where, and it's usually the content provider. It's, it's usually say TBS and TNT, Ted Turner, you know, um, the Turner group, they want uh, to charge for these channels, even though there's commercials. When, when their programming is on in A&E and all that. They double dip. They, there are subscription channels that ch play commercials during them. Really, they should be f they should have a free version of this, like what they do on Pluto TV and have it on satellite and then just make money off the ad, ad revenue. Anyway, that's my rant on that and how Orbi works. I would like to see Orbi TV be successful. I think with their cost reduction, because using two two transponders, I don't know how much it would be to, for a full transponder to fit all the channels that they are fitting. They are fitting quite a lot of channels on there. That it would, um, I hope they're successful and I hope that they will have more channels, but yet keep their price down and also maybe work with free to air, the free to air community a little bit better. Also, you can use, if you cancel Orbi TV, you can still use your Orbi TV dish with a free to air receiver and watch some of the free to air channels. So over at 121 West, I'm just going to scroll past the, uh, the only channel I think is up here is there's a few feeds and there's the Veterans of Hair Knowledge Network. And so there's not much over on this channel, but sometimes I've scanned this and seen feeds up there. 123, same thing. Um, there's a few channels here. I'm able to, at least where I'm located, I'm able to look, scan in Daystar. I've never been able to scan in the TVW cable channel because I remember back in the day, there used to be a lot like cable access channels on satellite, which would be fun to watch. Hokey crazy community access, uh, cable access uh, programming that you would see. But now I think a lot of that stuff's gone to YouTube as well. So over at AMC 21, Galaxy 14. Now there's not much on here, but at the bottom here, if we go down to where there's feeds here, this satellite has a lot of PBS feeds. I'd say there's at least eight channels. And if you can scan in the Montana PBS, channel I, I i don't really aim uh, my dish over at the satellite a lot because i get pbs over the air but when i have well first off you get pbs kids in hd and pbs east and west and and sometimes what i've seen on the pbs east and west feed is that it has documentaries during the daytime that my local affiliate doesn't have and that's what i like about pbs is some of the documentaries it's not just like the, the political documentaries that they're always showing it's like some nature documentaries and other stuff like that so there's also there's create which is like a home lifestyle you know a home cooking painting you know bob ross shows there's fx fnx which is first nation experience and there's World TV, which has um, newscasts from around the world and different documentaries during the daytime. So if you want to check that out, this is probably one reason for just getting a satellite dish. Now, I've been able to tune this satellite dish with a, a Shaw Direct dish. I'm pretty sure you can take an old Orbi TV dish and repurpose it for this satellite if you just wanted to get the PBS channel. Over on my channel, I have several... Uh, I have several uh, videos about free to air. You can go to my channel, type in my name, Robbie Strike, and any topic that you might want to look up, you'll probably find it on YouTube, where you are on other video sites, uh, probably most likely on YouTube, uh, where you can find out about more about free to air satellite. Are you surfing the internet and using a VPN? It's great for when you're streaming videos and you want to get content that is not available in your country. Use a VPN. Check out the link in the description of this video to get ExpressVPN. It will help the growth of this channel by supporting us if you go through the link to get ExpressVPN. And if this type of stuff interests you, check out the free satellite TV for North American channels, plus over the air, plus streaming group over at Facebook. And I'm pretty sure you'll find some interesting people to talk to about antennas, satellite dishes, and all sorts of really cool stuff. And be sure to come to my YouTube channel and subscribe and follow me on all these social media platforms. I'm on Twitter. I'm on PayPal. Donate. 
I'm on, I have a shop for my, for satellite stuff. I'm on Mines, you can find my email address, my Patreon account, and my Robbie Strikes Videos Facebook account, which is at RobbieStrike.com. Also, remember to click on the videos tab and follow me there and check out all my latest videos. And also, if you haven't seen some of my great videos that I've already made, check them out over at the Robbie Strike YouTube channel. <laughs>